punched in the nose. Trash in here. Are you coming clean? Rocky, no. Yeah, it's working good. That's crazy. Vintage look. Get that crack right there. I think it's working. Wax on, wax off. Taylor, come on. Oh, you're fast. Fairmont Field now. Any snakes? Oh, my love. How about they was that? Okay, we're broke down. Big announcement. Lord Almighty. <laughs> Touchy doll. Ew. Literally impeccable. <laughs> I'm getting mixed signals here. Yeah, just go for it. Oh, wow. Oh, third gear. <laughs> like a seahorse. She we about to go off road. Oh. <laughs> Dying, son. Oh, Lord. That's concerning. It'll be unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Service goat. <laughs> Poop on me. <laughs> Mark. Who's this guy? We're the ones from Iowa. We mean ah. <laughs> the whole parking lot's full. Sweet baby. Oh. Approved right here. Very nice. Man. Did Wawa win? Convoy. Roasted. Welcome back to Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. These kids, now they got their own cars, they're bound and determined to take them to a car show. So we got a car show meet and greet coming up in two days, and we got a bunch of cars to get ready. This is gonna be a farther trip than either one of these cars has ever made. Not only are we taking those cars, we're also taking mom's favorite cars. What do you got, mom? F100? F100, MG, and, MG. and the Metro Mart. You got three? <laughs> That's right, three. Oh my gosh. So I plan on taking my Falcon. There may be a couple more coming in, so we're gonna get everything we can down there. We better get started cleaning these things up and getting them pulled out. Some of them are out in the field. We gotta get them pulled up here. Let's get started. Well, I guess we might as well start with yours, Wawa. We're gonna try to wash it up, clean out the interior. We'd never clean this one up. Now, it looks pretty good, but you can see there's a lot of like rust stains and stuff. The guy had hand waxed it that owned it before us. We think we can get a lot of that off and do a little paint correction of this one. Wawa's been driving it in the field and the dirt, so we, our brand new casings and painted up hoops that got quite a bit of dirt on them, so I guess go ahead and pull this around and we'll start washing it while okay. i'll give you a walk around here you can see it's got some rust stains i think these are going to come off there i think we can get all this stuff off there and make it the paint look a whole lot better on this one hey she's been ripping it up hasn't she i thought she's gonna jump the hill no i know kidding. she come up over there by the new shop and about jumped it scares me dead does she know where she's going in this thing oh sure she's an excellent driver This is getting comical. She's in the wrong gear or something. I bet she's in third or something. She was in third. I guarantee it. She was in third. Oh, nice. You know, now that I think of it, we've never even cleaned up the Corvette. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be first cleanup for the Beetle and the Vet. Woo! Can you let us fill the bucket up first? Get that one. <laughs> bite it, bite it. Why is she like that? I don't know. She didn't think of poop. <laughs> Alright, bite it. I don't know if she wants a drink. I no, she's, she's got a bowl of water over there by the house. She just is messing. So we're gonna wash this with Dawn dishwashing liquid. Now once we get it cleaned up, you have a good coat of wax on the car. You don't want to use that kind of soap. You want to use car wash soap, but this is good for like cutting junk off the cars if it's got a rough paint job though. You like the bubbles? Mm -hmm. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Since she's been making laps in the field in this thing, you can see how big of a mess it is. Cut to the footage of her making laps in the field. This is all she's been doing since we got it going. Driving in the field. She's went through every pothole, ant hill, just making laps. She's not even looking. <gasps> <laughs> I thought she was coming. 
coming right for us. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to stop her. As you can see, she's been getting it dirty. A lot of that shit runs off right here. We got bird dookie and everything. I don't want to Not scratch that off. Dookie. You can see he's left some wax or something. Yeah, he, I think he hand waxed it and didn't get it all uh, rubbed off there. That's classic. You got your white hoop dirty, y'all. Sorry. Now look, you can see how the water's beating up? That means it's still got wax on it from where he did it. So the Dawn should probably cut a lot of that off. It wouldn't beat up if it oh, didn't have wax so on it. It don't leak, does it? You said it didn't leak, huh? No. You've been checking it when it rains. Checking on this fuel. We get the shot bill, we'll park it inside of them, baby girl. Oh, yeah, we will. It seems like these right here would trap dirt and rust it, you know? It's not rusted out because I can feel the backside, but that seems like a trap right there. Mm. I don't know if I like that. Caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Woo! Let's see how much of a difference this makes. I think this is the roundest vehicle I've ever watched. It's funny that they were producing these cars in the 70s and they still had running boards like a car from the 1930s. Do they still make these? No. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, son. I see your boy Rocky got out. Oh, of course. We're out here messing. What are you look, doing? Look at Rocky Jr. trying to get out. You think this thing can make the drive walk? Yeah. 100%? Mm hmm. This will be farther than we've ever drove the Corvette or this car. We still have yet to even work on the Corvette since the last season. So hopefully they'll both make it there and the rest of the cars. Hopefully the rest of them make it there. What is it? You like your little sponge there? Yeah. Did y'all get the whole other side already? Yeah. A few whiskey dents. Looks like somebody hit a curb up front or something. Oh yeah. I got punched in the nose. Well, that was about the quickest wash job ever. Huh? Yeah. Don't take no time to wash that little thing. You can still see all these rust stains and stuff are still there. Hopefully we can fix that. I don't know if we can fix this because this looks like it's been primered on top of it for some reason. Maybe we can do something with it. I feel like this might be the deluxe model wall. Look at all the chrome and stuff around these louvers. Look what's coming off the weather stripping. It's that black. Ew. Isn't that weird? Looks like you got your makeup on, you've been crying. <laughs> you know? Oh, gross. Usually it's the paint color coming off. I don't see any blue though. Good. That's a very good thing. You just did your mascara and Whitney Houston comes on the radio. Tears just start flowing. <laughs> Can't help it, can you? Can't help it. Wawa, this is the first time you've ever washed your own vehicle. Yeah. First for you. I we get all the rust stains off? We're going to try to, Squeeze. We're going to try to get all the rust stains off of it. That was an immediate answer. Being gentle, aren't you? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you can't be driving it out in the field now, girl, after this. At least until we get to the car show and back. I have to contain the urge. Yeah. She's letting her rip. I thought she's gonna pop the Pringle for sure. Oh yeah. And remember, we take off in first gear, not third. Then we want to. Hey, you wanna watch your mouth, honey? I mean. Are you gonna really use swear words on this channel? Where's the soap? We're gonna wash your mouth out. Touching up what Ralphie did. You gotta watch him, don't you? Oh man, they're shining again. I think you did good going with the gloss paint. It probably cleans up a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> a little extra. Yeah. Soak the whole body. Right down the boot holes, huh? Yeah. Wonder where this thing was bought new at. This may have been somebody else's first car when they got their license. These were very typical first car when you got your license cars. Cause they were like the cheapest thing you could buy, you know? Get up here so we don't melt. We've already got some stuff out of here. We were doing the wiring harness and stuff, but we got some spare fuses that we put in here. We took the radio out, but I'm sure she'll have me hook it back up. It was just directly in our way of getting to our switches that are up under here. We're probably gonna need to get a glove box surround for it and this, and I think even our heater box, we may need to get one. We may hook that back up and see if it works at some point. Some of our spare parts here, the old tag that was on it. We need to find a screw that fits that, Ralphie. Oh, 
There's not a whole I, lot in here, is there? No. I think I seen a cigarette in the back ashtray. I saw that back out. Can. You got it out? There ain't need none of that trash in here. Was it a Marlboro or? I don't know. Oh, Mom. It was halfway done. What is that gasket? I wonder what that fits. Nothing we need, no. Somebody let me know what that fits. I'm sure it's something in this car. That might be like an exhaust gasket or something. Yeah. I guess we can just start vacuuming it out yeah. and then we'll wipe all the windows and stuff down. Ain't enough room for me to do anything. Ain't much room over here no, in this car. It's so little. Rocky's on weed eating duty. Who needs shoes, right, Squeeze? Mm. That's looking better, huh? Yeah. Pretty dirty, isn't it? This thing was like infested with rats. That's why we had to put a wiring harness in it because the rats ate the harness. Maybe I can clean the top of the deck. <laughs> Did you get it clean? Yeah. Did you, yeah. Do, these, did you do these windows? No, I got those two windows. I got to do off the back glass and all of it, okay? Okay. Come and clean, Rafo. Yeah. Are you coming clean? That's right. Yeah, they on that too. We should be able to get a new armrest though. But they even chewed on the steering wheel over here, all around that. So we never saw any rats in the car or mice, but the guy we got it from said it's completely infested when he got it. Supervising? Yeah. I'm doing my important face. Switch spots? Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. What about the cigarette stuff? Does it got ashes in there? <gasps> oh. I vacuum it. Oh, it doesn't have a thing on it. Hold on. Ah! That's that was my hurt finger. Rafa, your Corvette's next, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. You can tell her what to do on all this. We'll get on your Corvette. If she mm -hmm. wants to win a trophy, yeah. we gotta get this thing shining. She's footprint. Spray down that handle right there with a lot awesome. You think it'll take that off that handle there, Ralphie? Probably, yeah. That lot awesome stuff's good, right? Let it marinate a minute. Oh yeah, marinate it, exactly. Oh. We need to get a headliner for it, don't we? Yeah. Look at it. It looks better. She just touched it with her hair. Excellent drama here, guys. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Rocky, don't eat my banana tree. Rocky, no. Rocky, don't eat it. Eat this one, I got knocked over. That's a good boy. He's a good boy. Huh? So the girls are getting the 4 aught steel wool and Comet, and they're gonna clean up the chrome because that'll take a lot of rust stains off the chrome. If it's peeled, then it won't help it, but the places where it has rust stains, this will take it off. So right here? Uh, that's probably peeled. <laughs> it might help it a little bit. Yeah. Rocky, what are you working on? You're not getting in the garage, nope. So what me and Ralph are going to do is try to take some of these rust stains off. What we're going to try is using CLR and a scotch Bright to try to get these off. This is a real fine scotch Bright. They make like a rocky. What's he doing? Can you please leave my stuff alone? 
can't have nothing. You wouldn't want to use like a really coarse scotch product. This is one of the more fine ones. The different colors are different grits. We're going to try spraying this on here, let it sit for a second, and then we're going to scrub it off there. Let's see what this does. We'll just do a small area here, Ralph. Oh, yeah, that's working good. Yeah, it is. You can see that it's turning orange. Yeah. And see, even these spots that are rusty, these little specks here and there, should take them off as well. All right, let's rinse this off and see what it looks like. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at this, Wawa. Look at this, Wawa. It looked like this before, and now that's what it looks like. What? That's crazy. It is crazy. Anywhere we got rust stains, we're going to go over it with this. You'll see it kind of disappearing as you do it, bud. Oh, that's going to look way better. Oh, it? yeah. See this lip right here? Wow. Magic. Gone. That's incredible. That's great. You can even see there's a little bit of like brownness to the paint that's gone now. Oh, yeah, Ralphie. That looks good. Yeah. I think I can get this off, too, if I keep shoving at it. It's taking some of the rust off the of chrome in it and stuff. Here you go. It looks better. Yeah, I thought it does. Oh, yeah, Ralphie. This is where he hasn't done it yet, and this is where he has. It takes a lot of it off. You kind of got to scrub hard, though, don't you? Yeah. Let's see if these right here will come off. See those spots just go away? You got a little whiskey den in there, but don't worry about that. No. Yeah, it took all those rest things off. I'm going to try to see what it does with these big spots in the middle of the door. I don't know if it'll get them off. I'd say it'll make them better, you'd think. We got a pretty bad one there. I don't know how much this will help or not. In that corner, you could tell where he got cut and get the wax, mm -hmm. you know. Seems like the wax, it probably looked like this all over before he waxed it. Look at that just come right off though. You see it disappear again. What car in the 70s had exposed door hinges? They just kept the same design that worked, you know. What's up, Steve? Ah. Woo. You got me. You got me. Looks better. What you think, Mimi? It's looking good. I mean, looking good. Did you ever have one of these cars? No, it wasn't mine, but yes, I had one. <laughs> <laughs> I drove it, but it wasn't mine. That's funny. All right, let's see if that door looks any better. Hey, where's this? Oh, yeah. I took a lot of that staining off. Of course, basically what it's doing, it's not taking the rust off the car, it's taking the stains from the rust off the car. If it's so bad that the paint's gone, you just can't change that. Right here, right here. Oh, that, look at that. Oh, that's going now. That was all surface rust, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, some of these spots they primered over like that, which I really don't know why they did that. So that's wax that he has left on the car there. It'll come off with that too. I want to see if I can get this off up here. I don't know how much paint's really left there. Yeah. You gotta get your fingernails in there, don't you? On some of those edges. Yeah. I think the paint's gone right there, isn't it? But hey, a little patina's nice, huh? Yeah. Right, honey? I love it. Vintage wood. Say again. Vintage. <laughs> one more time. Vintage. I hope you got the 3X Zoom one. 3X Zoom. Got it. Putting in the elbow grease today, ain't you, Ralph? I guess. Kitty, Kitty, are you being a helper? Huh? He is not a good helper. He a good yeah, shot, Kitty. Why did Rocky disappear, too? I don't know. He's probably eating something somewhere, I'm sure. Hey, look. I scrapped a little pin in this thing. Oh, you got some of the paint off right there? It took all that stain off except for that spot. Yeah. We're going to try to get these stains off the top of the door and quarters here. The bottom of the roof line. I don't have that Man, we're going with this, aren't we? Yeah. Wawa's about to have to leave. She has a pressing appointment. So she's going to make us clean her car floor while she's going to her appointment. I apologize. You're fancy, hey. girl, ain't you? I apologize for the inconvenience, y'all. Take it off. Did pretty good, didn't it? Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, that's helping a lot. 
mean, just look how much more blue this is now. That was all rusty right there. So here's a comparison. Here's the fender we haven't done. This side looks so much better. Look at the bottom of the quarter and the bottom of the fender here compared to the other side. I got some stains here on the front of the fender. I know all this will come off right there. Yeah. Sure. I mean, that'll be really good. See, like right here, it'll take the stains off around these chipped up areas, mm -hmm. but you know, you can't bring back the chips and paint that flew off. This will take a lot of the oxidation off as well, not just the rust. You want to do this right here near the hand screen? Yeah, it took all that off over here. You're going to have a brand new car, Wall. Yeah. You like cleaning it up? Yeah, I do. Better than my cars? Yeah. <laughs> It's got a little bit of color coming off there, huh? See, I love doing these right here. See a big difference on these. Oh, wow! It's gonna be a lot better, huh? Yeah. That was covered in the surface stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, look back here. It's all gone. Oh, this doesn't have a fender cover on this side, does it? Looks Dude. like it used to be there Aww. and it rubbed on it. Let's take a dip in the pool, Rocky. I need to pull that den out of it, don't I? Wait, you do body work? No. Get that crack right there. Yeah, make sure and get your crack for sure. Don't want to miss that. Any color to that soap? Oh yeah, I see a little blue. There's a bunch of black comes off that weather strip, doesn't it? Help me. What's the name? Scratch. Under uh -huh. the eye. Mm -hmm. Here, do this. That tail light's gonna clean up really nice. That housing around it. This may take some of that primer stuff off there too, you know, I don't know. Oh yeah, look how much better the paint looks now. Yeah. Some of that's just too rough though. But man, that helped a lot, didn't it? Yeah. We're gonna be ready for the car so long. I'm excited. I don't know how much this will come off. It looks like it's kind of peeling, but the comet and the steel wool usually helps these out pretty good. Yeah, it helped for sure. It took a lot of the rust stains off. We still got some speckles there. If it weren't for this right here, where it looks like it's been wrecked or something, yeah, that would look a lot better. But man, it took so much of that stain off. She's looking good. Yeah. I can't believe the difference in like this area here. It really looks good now. Once we kind of polish it up and put some wax on it, it should shine up really nice. It's like a diamond in a goat's butt. Exactly. All right, bye Fancy. Bye. We'll clean your car up for you. She's expecting us to do the work yeah, on her car. For the next step, we're gonna pull the car inside to get it out of the sun for us to polish it up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Falcon outside. This is my baby, it stays inside, but I wanna take it to the show. I'm gonna let it down and pull it outside. Oh, is your car staying inside, huh? Yeah. I do love this car. It is, is great, in it? I, I love the new interior in it. It's awesome. Once we get the outside painted, my plan is to V8 swap it with a T5. That's gonna be so much fun. Ralphie, who has the coolest car in the group? Corvette? Yeah. So we're going 
ahead and bleeding the brakes real, real quick and making an adjustment on it. The pedal was pretty spongy when we drove it. It probably just needed some adjustment. Adjusting these makes a big difference on how they act. You gotta keep them in adjustment. Especially these, they don't adjust themselves. We're gonna start buffing on this thing. So I've got a white pad on my buffer here. I'm gonna use rubbing compound. This pad has been used before on Mom's MG, so it's a little rough to the touch. So I'm gonna let it run here and we're gonna take a screwdriver and kind of clean the roughness off this. What? That gets a lot of that junk off there, Ralphie. That's cool. So now it's a lot softer. And less red. Less red. I've got some rubbing compound here and we're gonna chest out a little spot and see how much this helps. I like to put a little bit on the pad when it's dry like this. You don't need to overdo it with this stuff. Go slow at first. We'll start out real slow. Don't sling it everywhere. You want to do this until it shines. You don't want to leave the compound on there. It'll buff it off if you keep going. Just keep moving. I think it's working. I think you're off. Wawa's going to freak out. That's how you do it right there. Then you take like a microfiber cloth that's clean. You can clean off the edge. You want to go ahead and get this stuff off your black stuff, which ours is so rough, it's probably gonna stick to it anyway. Get it off your moldings as quick as you can. If it starts to clump up, you just get some water and spray on it. It'll help it'll get those clumps off there. Look at that compared to that. What do you think, Mom? It's beautiful. Give it a feel with the back of your hand there. Now feel the other spots. I don't know. It's oh, Ralph just fell out. This is Ralphie's little buffer here. And this is great for getting in, you know, the corners and stuff. You just want to stay off black parts like that. Okay. You just slump them on the Oh yeah, that's gonna look so nice. Oh yeah. It's good. Yeah, it ain't gonna make any difference to get on this rust, so we're gonna stay off of that. But all the paint areas we'll go ahead and do. Do you like buffing, Ralphie? Yeah. It's too slick to put a rag on. Look at the difference from there and there. Yeah. How slick that is compared to right here. So I haven't buffed right here. You should be able to see the difference. Pretty big difference between the two sides there. I've got my buffer set on 1200 RPM. That seems right for me at least. Right there is 1200. These old single stage paint jobs like this buff out really nice. That door and corner looks good, don't it? Mm-hmm. One of the big mistakes a lot of people do is they just use too much product on it. They dump a bunch of rubbing compound on it and they hit it wide open with the buffer and it slings everywhere on everything. You just try to want to keep that to a minimum. You just want to move slow like this. If you want to generate a little bit of heat, overlap what you're doing, keep going till it's shiny. Woo, shin, shin. I'm gonna cry. So it's starting to clump up on me a little bit. I'm gonna sprinkle some water on this. That seems to really help. Seems like if it gets too hot, it'll start doing that. If you get too much compound on there, it'll do it. The water definitely seems to help. Whoa. You better be like she wasn't here. Oh gosh, I'd be in trouble. I better fix it before she gets back, huh? Yeah. It never even happened. It 
So we got that half of the hood done. You can tell a big difference in what it looks like. Hopefully yeah. it shows them on camera. You can see all the dullness in this. You look on this side, it's much more shiny on that side. This side has not been touched yet at all. You see how flat the paint is on this side. And then when we walk around here, check this side out. Bam, knock your eyeballs out. Incredible, huh? Yeah. Wawa's gonna freak out. Sorry, dude. Ooh, okay. Oh, Lord. Excessive? Okay. We had to take a break out here and check on the animals. You know, you got to feed and water them from time to time. Where's she headed? I think she's getting a drink. She's going to say what I put out of there. Rocky, your belly's sticking out today. We better get back to Buffalo. We're never going to get this done in time for the car show. Yeah, it's good. It like gets hard to scrub if you leave it for like two seconds. Yeah. The Wawa's back. So we buffed this side of your car. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Feel it. Oh, she's Woo! slick. She's real slick. Wow, that's great. That looks really good. We've been working our butts off. I'm so proud of you guys. All right, you ready to start waxing it? Yeah. You got your helper? Yeah. I was going to put stickers on. You got to get your stickers put on. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, Wawa's going to start putting wax on it while we finish up buffing it. Really, it'd probably be good to go over this with polish before we do the wax, just for the best shine. But we honestly do not have time before this car show. Take one cloth, put some turtle wax on it, rub it in hard until you get like an area about this big. Sit back and let it haze up. And once it hazes up, take the clean, dry one and rub it off till it's shiny. You know, wax on, wax off. Exactly. That's all you had to say, wax on, Sorry. wax off. Yeah, that makes more sense. Keep one just for applicating and one for rubbing it off there. And this is just turtle wax, liquid wax is what we're using here. This will create a coating on it that will repel water and will protect it from the elements. And on an old paint job like this, you depend on how much it's out in the weather, you might need to do it once a year, every six months or something. I'm a stalk in a victim. Uh -huh. You'll have trouble getting it off. Right. Hey, Dad, I'm being attacked. Okay. It's supposed to be nice. Now, we should... We're about to have this thing buffed, Ralph. It really doesn't even do it. It's Come on. I'm just a tighter. I'm just a tighter bug. I guess I'm going to start on the roof now. So I've went all the way around the whole car with the brother's hometown now. Ralphie's touching up some of the edges on the back. I think I got it all. You look fine with money. Tail straight up. Look at him. Oh, you're fast. You better slow. Oh, slow down. That was hilarious, isn't it? Check out the difference in the roof. That side's buffed, and this side is not. You can tell a big difference in the shine. <laughs> I need to jump through me. Tail. Look at them specs. I think the whole thing is buff now. Well, let's all pitch in and get this thing waxed. It's There's a dry hard. rag, no. You're sweating, girl. You can really tell the difference in the stuff that I've waxed or not. Do we need to put some more on after we do a spot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, I just keep going. I think it's time for me to rub it? Yeah. Here. Ooh, look at it, Dad. Ooh, I did it. It is very slick. <laughs> I wanted something to sit my rag on. Well, this wax is probably 15 years old. <laughs> Still working though. The car that made the biggest difference when we did this was my 78 Ballard wagon. 
and we never filmed any of it. That was that like. That kind of looked good. Yeah, that was probably six or eight years ago, and we never filmed any of that. Give me a squirt. I'll try another one. Squirt See how hazy that is? Go over it with your dry rag and you can see it's getting shiny. You just want to keep rubbing it until all that haze is gone off of here. I think we got it, guys. I think we did. She is shining. Woo! This is so beautiful. I wish it was my car. Well, hey, save your pennies and your dimes up. You might get one. I wish I could buy it. We have matches. You, you like this car? Yes, I love Beatles. And I can destroy Buffy in a race. Oh Woo. <laughs> you can't if you ain't got no fuel pressure. It does. We'll hey. see tomorrow. Ravi. Starts up every time. Hey. Ravi. Hey. <laughs> you need to clean your windows. The real huh? test is, Ravi, is who's going to make it there and who's won't. Ooh. Oh, mm. mine's going to make it there. Hey, mine's going to make it there on the trailer. <laughs> Well, last year we got People's Choice, our first trophy ever we've won. I'll back it out in the sun, we'll see how it looks. Okay. Can you look down? Right, first, Woo! I'm really impressed with how well it's running. Yeah, look how much better all this, especially this area here looks. It's so like soft. It looks so good. <laughs> I feel like this is like a pillow. I can't be driving in the field now. No, you can't. At least till after the car show. Yeah. I think she's finally ready for the car show. She's beautiful. Now we just got a whole bunch more to go. Well, so, we ain't got to do as much. No, no, we're not going to do all that work to the rest of them. So let's start getting cars lined up and ready to go. Woo! We got to wash and vacuum out Ralphie's car, but it's like burning hot sun right now. It probably wouldn't be a good idea. So we're probably going to go out to the field and get some of those cars that are out there that we want to take and bring them up here and get them ready to go. Now, the Metro Mont and the MG Midget, we're going to load up on the trailer. We're going to try to get both of them on the trailer at the same time because the Metro Mont, the engine's no good, and it's really probably wouldn't even make the drive again. It barely made it last time. And the MG needs some casings and it needs brakes. So those two are going to have to be hauled. We're down here in Fairmont Field now. I know it looks grown up, but these cars honestly have not been sitting here long at all. It's just the summertime, they grow up a bunch. So the Galaxy is drivable with brakes, new hoops, all that. But we're still stuck in second gear, and I do not have time before the show to get it going. The car line runs and drives. It has no shifter, and it has no brakes. So it's a no-go. New Yorker runs and drives, but it barely has brakes, has old junky casings. We're going to try to take the Metro Might. K15, it needs brakes and transmission. Savoy, maybe. We might take it because it runs, drives, brakes, casings. F100's a go. Turbo Coupe, I okay. don't know. It's still got some sort of funky computer issue. We'll see. If we have time, we'll take the Savoy and Turbo Coupe. If not, we're definitely going to get the F100 out of here and the Metro. And honestly, the only reason we haven't drove the F100 is the camper top's a mess. Yeah, it's a bad shape. So we're going to take the camper top off yeah. for now at least. So I can drive it. We're going to have to move around our batteries and fuel cells here, which the F100, it's got a brand new gas tank in it. So that's yeah. good. A big and two. Yeah, gallon. it's got like a 30-something gallon on it. <laughs> yeah, it's like 33, I think. Any snakes? Don't see none. You think this Metro Mile will start right up for us? Yes. Or chug smoke out of it, either way. Okay. That's crazy. As hard as this thing was to get running, it starts yeah. right up now. This thing don't even have any coolant in it.
I don't know. This thing's a jewel. It's just the engine is in really poor condition. This thing is so cool. Every time I see it, I fall back in love. I know. We gotta wash the casings off, don't we? I, put, yeah. I should have pulled it over there in the, in the driveway. I thought we like lowered it and it's like. Oh yeah. Lower. That makes it even better. Did it have a hard time getting up the hill? No. Not that, really. If anything, we had to hold it back. Oh, it looked funny getting up the hill. <laughs> We need to slam this thing, don't we? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I've seen the light now. Sounds good, don't it? Sounds great. Yeah. She a jewel. Okay, she smoked on me. She broke, okay. I love this shifter. Her shifter? This thing takes 20 turns to, to lock to lock. Got a little bit of smoke. Don't worry about that. Nothing to see here. Still runs good. Oh, you got the trophy? So this is the reigning champion. It was the people's choice last year. That's one of the reasons why we're taking it back. You know, reigning champs gotta go back, right, Ralphie? Yeah. I mean, only trophy we've ever won in our life. Yeah, dust that thing off. Look at them all lined up here. So we got at least one more. We gotta get the MG midget out, right? Let's go ahead and get that camper top off of that Ford real quick. The reason the headlight's missing, it's got good retro bright headlights in it, but we got a broke spring and I got to order one I keep forgetting. We didn't notice this. It has a bottle opener, can opener. I'm telling you. Magnetic. Half on me, what was that? Oh. DT. Are we going to rebuild this or are we going to just take it off? It's got the shelf in the back. Lord, it's a whole motorhome. Why is there nails? What were they nailing down? Oh gosh, our, the, our mail's even ripped. It's got the retracting version. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's the That's factory. Hold on. Let me cut these wires. We're going to see if we can pick this thing up or not. Yes. I, I don't got it either. I don't got it. Really? No. You ready? You want to see me shot? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. This thing's a little. Kids couldn't get their corners. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> I fell. <laughs> <laughs> it has to. Well, shoot, you're ready for NASCAR now, honey. Look at that. All the room for activities back here. Hey, I got an eight foot bed never needs to be made. That's right. Go for it. Clamp it. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's got a longer bed than our other truck. You might need that eight feet, you know? I'll have all kinds of stuff in it. I'll have all kinds of stuff in it. <laughs> Thanks to the Howard brothers for helping us unload that. Yes, right? thank you. <laughs> Boom. That was nice. That was Very good nice. timing. They were here. Yeah. Well, I guess it's time to get the MG out, right? Woo! I need to drive that thing around the yard. What right. is this accent he's I don't developed? I know what's going on here. <laughs> MG's not wanting to start to get today. <laughs> if you remember, we ran over the parts of the carburetor. We've got to get a carburetor on it at some point. Put it over by the... Oh, get low. Oh, my legs. My legs can't take this. You're making me push? Come on, I think ain't big as nothing. I know, look at it. Uh-huh, here you go. Put it in gear. She's a ripper. For sure. Me and Wa are going to go get six gas cans full of gas, so we have gas for everything. Yeah, that's one good thing about having the big bed, huh? Let's go spend a couple hundred dollars in gas. Yay! It's like an old barn truck with a big long floor shifter. It's fun to drive, drive good. 12 seconds later. Okay, we're broke down. I don't know 
go one time. We're out of fuel or what? Thank you. <laughs> right, that's good. Thank you very much, guys. Maybe ran out of gas. We'll put some gas in it. Yeah, no fuel in the bowl. We must have ran out of fuel, I guess. Well, we're in the perfect place to run out of fuel. Huh? The gas station. Maybe this will fix it. Surely. Surely? Yeah, surely, for real. Chicken, At least we can watch TV while we're here. Chicken. You done, Peyton? The Subway <laughs> series just keeps TV. getting better. I gotta fill the carburetor up somehow. Oh my lord. That should be enough to start it off. So hopefully that fixed our problem. We can make it back home. We don't have to call mom. Well, the fuel gauge works. It says we're full of fuel now. So maybe we have a different problem. If nine gallons filled it up, there's something up. I'm gonna put some gas over into a couple of these cars so we have enough to get there. Clean you white walls. I'm trying, babe. Gotta get all them buggers off of them. Five gallons will be enough for a little beetle, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> You're going above and beyond, Mom. We're going to have clean case until we have anything else, okay? <laughs> well, you can only afford to put about five gallons a piece in them. No can't doubt. afford to fill them all up. No. Big announcement, okay? We're getting 500 shirts printed up. Whoop, whoop. And we're working on our website to do our own merchandise and ship it out here with a little sweatshop of children. We'll have them there for sale. Maybe we can sell some shirts and raise some money for the youth group as well. It's gonna be exciting. Woo! There you go, now you can wash her out. Awesome, thank you. I just loved her from the first moment. I seen her. It's an RC Cola can. That I got know, you. I know. Lord Almighty, what do you got? A 500 shot on that? We're not mining here. No, she's supposed to just be washing out the bed. She's washing the whole thing. Don't you worry about me. The primary color is surface rust. Well, you got her shined up, don't you? I still got to clean off my breather, but I was okay. afraid to get water down in it. I get it. something up, so I'll do that in the morning. Well, we have ran out of daylight, so we'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll start getting our stuff ready to go to the car show and start moving some vehicles. Well, good morning. I've woke up before everybody else. It's bothering me that the MG won't run good. We tried to start it a couple times, and it just kind of start and die, start and die. Well, let me show you this carburetor I got. After we did the last video, she ran over the parts of the carburetor. I ordered this one off of eBay. It wasn't very much. I don't remember, around $100 maybe. It's not a real Weber. It's a knockoff of a Weber, I guess. It's a Reed Moral, whatever that is. I think it's barely, barely going to fit with these right here. I want to get that on there. She really wants this car to run good and we got a new top for it a carpet kit i really been wanting to get on this i was gonna wait to do all this at the same time but i think i'm gonna go ahead and put the carburetor on it so we can have it running better for this event hopefully this will be pretty easy to swap out don't look like it'll be too hard that carburetor is about as big though as this engine is i got everything off except for the throttle cable bracket but i think it's gonna be easier to get off once the carburetor is up off the engine because you can't really get a screwdriver in there very easily i hope this is like a direct bolt on and it works is it gonna fit? Barely. We're gonna have to get some sort of screens for this or something. We might have to cut one of the screens off the house windows. I'm having to do a little adapting here on the brackets and stuff. It's all completely different. Gotta waller this out. Swapped out the throttle bracket off the old one. All right, let's see if she'll run. Now, I don't have the choke cable hooked up. I can't even find the handle on the choke cable. Maybe I can choke it and start it since the car is so little. Oh, struggle. Struggling. Can't do it. Maybe that'll give me enough reach. There you go. Oh, I can't get around here fast enough to keep it running. I think the aisle's too low. This dingleberry came around the corner and scared me to death. <laughs> Why don't you get in there and start it? See if we can keep it running. All right, try it now. Mom's gonna want to renew our vows. That'll at least make it easier to get on the trailer. Oh shoot, it's running like a champ. Yeah. Ralphie wants to drive it, <laughs> of course. You better hurry before your mama gets out here. Just your size, huh? Fits 
him, doesn't it? Hey, it's running good. <laughs> Mama's gonna hear that for sure. You better park it. It would never rip a donut like that, would it? Before no. we gotta hurry. <laughs> We're gonna have to show her how I it ate, runs, huh? I ate the donut. Oh, that was ten. What's funny is when you're driving it, it looks like you're adult size because the car's so little. <laughs> oh yeah! Did you try it? Ralphie did. Oh lord! <laughs> you see the marks in the yard? He's been, <laughs> he's been ripping it. Oh my lord. <laughs> we'll give it a try. Okay. They doing good? Yeah. How's them brakes? <laughs> you didn't get no brakes, did you? <laughs> oh, you killed it. <laughs> now I got grass all over it. Oh, no. This is the best car ever. It's ripping now, it's isn't awesome. it? It ain't falling on its face anymore, is it? No, it's good. Hey, if we had good brakes, we could drive this thing there, but brakes thing kind of yeah. knocks that in the I head, don't it? I put brakes on it myself. Obviously. I reckon mom's already cleaned up all the rest of them except for the Corvette. The rest of them really didn't need a, a real wash job. And like we said, we've never cleaned this one up or vacuumed it out. So Ralphie, why don't you pull it around there with your popsicle and we'll clean it out and vacuum it up. I just hope this one makes it there. How dare you even question? It's just cold. He says it's just cold. How come he has a Corvette and I don't? This is what he does every time he starts it. Look at that, he's got his orange popsicle going. He's driving his vet. <laughs> Who didn't know that? Every time, huh? Yeah. You don't want them plugs to get fouled. You might as well rev the guts out of it. We gotta get that tape off there. It looks awful. We need a razor blade. Really good. The brakes are awesome, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's clean her up real quick. Mom broke the water thing yesterday. So all we got is a darn water jet. <laughs> Remember, you can't have too much Dawn in your wash bucket, right? Yeah. Oh, whoa, well, it, it just activated all of a sudden. <laughs> There's so much Dawn there, it's blue. <laughs> That's what you want. Somebody's already primed some spots on it. We plan on doing a budget paint job on this thing soon. Budget. Why is there all this dirt from up in the corner? Uh, who knows? Can you explain yourself? Touchy dog. Totally. <laughs> totally. This is gonna be a story of my life. I can done see it. What color do you want this thing to be? I don't know yet. I might go with the original color. I probably will go with that. <laughs> yeah, it won't surprise me if it moves the car all this pressure. Ew. Look at that. She wall-eyed right now. Oh, wow, look at that. Dude, look at the front. Could you not deal with that no longer? Couldn't deal with that nozzle any longer. She's a beaut. Yeah. Man, those are nice. I think you've got a nice taste in the bun. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Just had to spin them over, huh? Yeah. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. We gotta get some stuff out of here. We have an owner's manual that's completely come apart on us. I think I'm gonna keep it until we get a better one. A lot of good information in them. And I think it had some animals living in it. Look, you can see something's been chewing on the bags here. This is our covers under the dash we took off and we got it running, never returned them. Ralphie's switch panel he made for this car for no apparent reason, we never installed. <laughs> There's our lug wrench. 
They should have put a seat back here. You know, there's enough room. Look, they have these storage compartments under the floor. Look how far down that goes. Crazy. Let's check and make sure we got no money in there. We already did that. You did? It's a dirty mess. Let's get it vacuumed out. Got half of a tree up there. They must have had a for sale sign on there at some point, huh? It's a huge back glass. We should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> like everything else, huh? Looks great under here. Yeah, literally impeccable. <laughs> the funny mat, you never find another one like that to fit it. Are you figuring it out? 357. Make sure she's doing it right. Hey, don't miss a spot now. <laughs> this is hard to do. You got a big windshield, don't it? It ain't like your car. It actually has a dash on this car. <laughs> So it will get you on it. <laughs> that does actually work. These door jams are nasty. Oh, that, it's on there. You gotta clean your door jams, people. People forget about this stuff. That's like a security system. I just unplugged the horn. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. It's never done that Crazy. before. That's weird. I don't like electrical gremlins mm. like that. I guess we got her shined up inside and out finally. I think we got all our cars cleaned up. We're gonna take for now, unless we decide to take something else. What? Oh, your wipers are on. Oh. No, the switch is over here. That's funny. Come on back. You're good. He's relying 100% on what I'm telling him. He's not even looking back. She's looking good. Well, now that we got those cars lined out, we are headed to town to go get 500 t-shirts because this is our biggest order of shirts we've ever done. We've ordered just like, I don't know, 100. maybe a hundred before. We honestly have not sold many shirts in person, so we're trying to take all this over ourselves, making a big step, getting 500 shirts. So we're headed now to get those. We got a lot of stuff to do in town. We're gonna try to get this ready. And once we get this done, we can start moving cars. Oh man, look at that. So good. I love the red, white, and blue. That looks really too. good. Whiskey dent. That's unfortunate and awesome. red. Oh, it looks perfect. Oh yeah, I love those colors with the casing killer, yeah. Oh yeah, that looks really good. All righty. We got them all loaded up, ready for the show. Seven boxes full. Man, those are gonna be they awesome. Look so good. I love the colors. He I'm did a great so job. We did that. Exactly. We've been going back and forth a long time on whether or not to do our own shirts, and honestly, Puddin's Fab Shop talked me into it. I think he talked me and Mortsy into it. So if you really look into the big channels that are really rocking and rolling, they usually always do their own merch. Well, we spent the last few hours loading stuff up. We got our chairs. We got a lot of our merch stuff, our table, our canopy, and look, even them sweet RC colas. You can't beat that, can you, Ralphie? No. So now we're gonna hook up our trailer and see if we can load up the Metro Mite and the Midget on the same trailer. I've been wanting to do this since the day we bought our trailer. Oh, Ralphie's squeezing them lemons. I'm getting mixed signals here. This guy's just gonna cruise around first, I guess. Where is he going?
You're hanging off. All right, this is gonna work though. What a rig, huh? <laughs> At least neither one of them weighs a whole lot. You That's know? true. fit on there together. That's incredible. Impeccable. Wow. Hope it makes it there. This is probably our most guaranteed ride. <laughs> I'm not sure about the others. Mom is gonna drive the truck with the two cars on the trailer since it's the first time we've ever done that. I've lost my mind. Yeah. And me and the kids are gonna drive the F100 over here. And this will be the longest trip it's ever made. So we'll see if it makes it and we'll see how this does. Are you ready? I'm nervous. My heart's beating. Hopefully it doesn't break down again on us. Uh, we put gas in. This clutch is like pretty wore out. <laughs> She's gonna freak out pulling that big load like that. She is not used to driving a truck and trailer at all. Oh, well, she's swinging out. Here she comes. We got ourselves the convoy. It's funny seeing her tow two vehicles behind her. Oh, third gear. There we go. She's probably biting her nails right now. I think this is the first time mom drove slow. She's like way back there. Yeah. Considering it's on used casings, it actually does good. Yeah. Yeah. Just the old three speed in the floor. Hopefully it pulls this big hill here. Look at her with that rig. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! She did it. Man, the truck just did great. Yeah, surprisingly. This thing's a jewel. You well, don't have a thing to worry about. Like a champ. You can feel them cars on there. It was like, yes. Like a seahorse. Rocking horse. The whole way. A rocking That's horse. That's incredible. I think it was like a wheelie. Mom, don't touch dog pits. She was about to go off road with a jump this curb. Mom's done in the hay field with it. <laughs> Ran like a champ, didn't she? Awesome. You'll be driving this one every day now. Oh, yeah. Now I got some faith in her. <laughs> <laughs> He's dying to drive around the parking lot with it. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, give us some gas, you're good. He was excited to get in this big parking lot. Oh, second gear, that's his favorite, to shift the gears. I think he missed first gear. Oh, he killed it. That is the worst takeoff I've ever seen. Hey, it's a European car. 
car. You gotta clear it out, son. You gotta keep them revs up. Wah wah one go. <laughs> Train wreck. At least my kids will know how to drive a manual. You know this is a dream when you're a kid to get to drive around oh, the parking lot. God. Let's put her up and get some more. She scrubbed. I don't know what it clunked out here. I think the cross member may have hit. She's low, that's for sure. Trophy one from last year. It's so weird. I'm not used to driving right hand drive like that. Does the Do Australians it. join? Yeah, um, they would know. It wouldn't be weird at all of them, huh? Yeah. I'm always like not where I think I am because I'm not used to driving on that side of the car. My favorite thing about this is it drags that chain on the ground and the bumper is so low. I mean, it's super low. That's my favorite thing about it. And the white walls. Well, that went better than I thought it would. I better mean, than I thought too, for sure. After me and Wawa broke down in it, I thought, oh man, it ain't gonna make it because yeah. it's a lot farther drive. Well, you did good at towing. How did they go? It, it was like a sawhorse or seahorse. Saw. Uh, it probably doesn't have enough tongue weight. Okay. Seesaw. That's what I meant. Well, it's like a seesaw. I reckon we're going to try to take the Falcon tonight, too. Old reliable here. These seats are just luxury. We, I don't think we have a vehicle with better seats than this. Did they good? Did great. Yeah. Awesome. I don't know. Well, all the gauges quit working, but aside from that, it did great. No belts on it. Belts on it. Ratchet straps on her. Still the ratchet straps from two years ago. I don't know. We must have popped a fuse or something. As long as you didn't pop your Pringle, we'll be all right. Yeah. We're running out of daylight. That's probably going to be all that we get done tonight. Move. So it's just the two kids' cars in the morning. So Ralphie's Woo. bed and Wawa's beetle. Woo. Go ahead and make your guesses in the comments on which one's gonna make it without issue. Mine will. And the most important cargo is Rocky. Rocky, we gotta get Rocky loaded up in the morning. We gotta get his animal crackers, get the kittens. I think it's gonna be a lot bigger than last year. 
went ahead and got a ratchet strap on her. Is this the trunk or the hood? Let me know. That way this thing won't fly up because it doesn't latch at all. You'd think a good body man could fix that latch. We're gonna try to find a good body man sometime. Hopefully the kids' cars make it to their very first car show. They will. We'll see in the morning if she's right or not. See you out. See you out. Bright and early the next morning. You got your keys, Ralphie? Yeah. Look at that. Got a Bucky keychain. Hopefully this thing makes it. It has never made it this far. Last time we tried to drive it to the kid's school, it didn't make it. So I got a fuel pressure gauge strapped to the windshield. I think it's losing fuel pressure, but we're hoping we can limp it there. Let's see if it works. Gosh, we parked it too close, didn't we? Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. What's our fuel pressure? 40. 40? Sounds good. But at least we can't use our wipers. That's good. It does have ooh, super good brakes. Yes, it does. It's a Corvette for sure. Hopefully this goes good. We can get this issue sorted out. We can start driving this thing more often, huh? Yeah. Well, our fuel pressure gauge just flew off the side of the car, so that's good. But it looks a lot nicer in here now that we vacuumed it out and cleaned it up. What did we make it last time? We may have made it like three miles before it messed up on us. Yeah. Ralphie believes that it's gonna be fine. It's just some trash in the injection. Yeah, he just thinks it got trash in it and it's all out now and we're good to go. It sounds good, don't it? Yeah. Luckily, this drive is quite a bit flatter than going to the kids' school, so yeah. we're not really having to be on the throttle hard. So far, it's doing great. We may be a little harder on the way home and just test it and see how it does, but I just wanted to make it there. There's people gonna be waiting on us. Ralphie, I think we are going to make it. Woo. Should we give her a rip up yeah. the driveway? I feel like we should. Yeah. It's only the right thing to do. Let's see if she's still got the beans. Convinced it just had dirt in it last time. He loves to drive around in the big parking lot. I was like babying it the whole time. Seemed like, to us like he was flying. Yeah, we were trying. We were it's like, a Corvette. Baby in a Corvette is flying in a normal car. It's certified now. I don't know, he's too cool. <laughs> <laughs> so funny in there. I like it. <laughs> it barely gets over the steering wheel. Is she a certified ripper? Yeah. What a the deal. The brakes are incredible. Impeccable? Yeah, impeccable. Well, we held good fuel pressure the whole time, it looked like, didn't it? Yeah. Well, maybe you're right, Ralphie. Maybe it was just dirt in the tank. It was. Was it fun driving it around the parking lot here? Yeah. It's a big parking lot, isn't it? Yeah. But we're going to head back now and get Wawa's Beetle. We should be there in time to get all of our other cars set up and our canopy and stuff. We'll head back over there. Mom's made her a sign for the car show. She's trying to help out. And what is that? Slate rock. Watch this. It's going to be great. She gets so nervous crossing traffic. <laughs> you get nervous crossing traffic? I hate it. There's, There's somebody, not a car inside. There's somebody coming behind you, Josh. Look at that American man right there. Horse-drawn wagon with Mustang hoops on it. You can't get more American than that. We got the free lines loaded up, all except for Tato. We don't take Tato. He wants a wee with us. Then service goat Rocky here is ready to go. He's got his collar on. He's ready for some animal crackers from some fans. So we're about to head out. Who's driving the Beetle? 
Mom, you're gonna drive it? I'm gonna drive it. Okay, are you, are you ready for this? Do you remember what happened to Super Coop, don't well, you? Let's not, let's not talk about it. He's gonna have me. You gotta be gentle in my car. You gotta do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready to go, Rocky? Who's Rocky riding with? Is he riding the Beetle or the truck? I guess you can ride the Beetle, but I'm surprised he said yes. Yeah. Load up, Rocky. Wow. All right. Y'all ready to go? See you there. <laughs> Here we go, Rocky. Mm. And mom killed it. I think that because of that little car i think you yeah. know we're used to doing that with him in the truck or something but seeing him in the back of that little car is so funny yeah <laughs> go <laughs> you answered me there's a few death wobbles but that might have been my fault death wobble okay we may have some lost looseness in the front end huh might be a little lost looseness but he okay, wants out here, we're here Good job. time for the car show rocky well, nothing looks right. like it's on fire back here that's good how was it riding with mom okay Stressful. <laughs> He's an excellent backup driver.
shows you how little that car is, doesn't it? Yeah. That thing is crazy little compared to that truck. Oh, look, Mike the neighbor's here. Ralphie's already headed out there. Oh, Mike. Oh, my gosh. Showboat. <laughs> Wow. This, this part, the checking part doesn't work, but this does. You put the plug in there. That is so cool. Uh, air to it. Yeah. That'll look good in the new shop. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I yeah. figured yeah. Ref would have a lot of fun cleaning. Oh, yeah. He likes to clean stuff for sure. Oh, That's well, so cool, you. Squeeze. Um, You've been collecting this stuff a while, huh? I have, yeah. You should see my garage. <laughs> <laughs> we got our whole canopy set up here, ready to go. Got our different shirts now. This is the most shirts we ever brought to anything, isn't it? Mm hmm. Rocky's over here getting hand fed, which is normal for him. Squeezy brought drawings she did. People should be rolling in saying it's about time to start. Who's this guy? I saw what you were doing. Oh, nice shirt, bro. Nice, appreciate that. <laughs> you made a mess. What'd you make a mess for? We're starting to get some cars rolling in here. Got an El Camino, this Grand Marquis. Is that a Toyota Corolla with a camper on the back? I like your chicken legs today. We got Rocky weed eating around the cars here. Mimi in the merch booth. <laughs> and we got a 32 high boy here coming in. Very nice. I always want a 32 Ford, maybe one day. I can't believe they put Mike in charge of anything. And you gotta love the classic Thunderbirds. And then out of the blue, it got super crazy busy and we were covered up, talking to fans, shaking hands, shaking babies, and I hardly got to video anything for a few hours. Later. Check this out here. Jesse brought us a knife down here from Hickory Hill Knife, so you can check him out on Facebook. Look at that thing. And you said it was made out of what? It's made out of antique sawmill blades. Look at that wall. Wow, that's awesome. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. So go check him out. That is really cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I think, I think we have a problem. We're the ones from Iowa. We made Iowa. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a cool shirt. You Thank you. Me, you guys uh, sign yeah, We can sign that for you. No problem. Well, we broke free here. We've spent a couple hours meeting him and greeting. This is so much bigger than last year. You're right. Really? Wow. That's awesome. That is so cool. Man, I love the front end on that. That is awesome. I love the wagons. Why don't we have cars with that good interior? Sleeper oh, we got sleeper deal on the other side. Well, that's perfect. 63 Impala. Man, this is my dad's cars right here. He loves the 63 Impalas. I like the Coyote Mustangs. I'm a fan of them. I'd like to have a blue one one day, maybe. We got another 32 over here. I like the 5 one to coupe like that. And it's been hectic this morning. There's so many cars here. Impala. Man, the Willis. You don't see them often. Check out this. I know this guy right here. Look at that. Sniper with supercharger. It's like a Suzuki engine that's like super. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Three cylinder. Man, I bet it's lightweight. I'll have to talk to him. Look, it's got a GM HEI module he said on it. It was 1,800 pounds, I think. Or really? 200. Wow. Check out the Hellcat. I'm supposed to take a ride in this. Oh, of course I will. Here. I don't want to mess this up. It's a big moment. Yeah, it is. It's a big moment for me. It's official now. Yeah, it is. 40 more horsepower. Hey, good yeah. job. Man, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I love the color. It looks really good. Ralphie can throw some in his bedroom or something yeah. like that. We love this kind of stuff. And I think if you say please, he'd probably do it. <laughs> <laughs> it matches your hair. Look, see? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Free lines. Are you picking around over here? I saw you getting fed by all these fans. Huh? Do you know your water's here? Are you spoiled? He's a good boy. You've been so nice here. Man, there are so many vehicles here now. The whole parking lot's full. I haven't even got a chance to walk through all of them. I walked for a little bit and then kind of got covered up, but the merch booth's been going crazy. Ralphie, his, he's been a politician today. I've seen him out there. He's like, hey, I'm Ralphie. Hey, hey, you don't give him no limp biscuit now. Give him yeah, he, I, I give him the squeeze. Yeah, you, ah, how are you? you're wanting their vote in November, right? Yeah. Baby. Oh, Good. wow. wow. She's, kind of <laughs> She's happy, isn't she? 
What That's trade all. you're getting for a baby? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we miss having babies. We, ours are all getting grown up now. We, we planned on having like six kids and... Then we had Squeezy. <laughs> Me and Ralphie's trying to break away here and see some of the cars. We have met so many fans today, haven't we? Man, a little bit of everything here. This thing's got an 8.1 liter in it. This is approved right here, Maverick. I like the hoops. I may need to get me another Maverick in my life, huh? What do you think? Right? I love the interior. Check out the CTSV wagon. Look at that ugly head. Oh. Let's go visit the church sometime. Oh yeah, I will, okay? <laughs> Coyote Mustang, GTO. We used to have one of them, didn't we? Yeah. Monte Carlo SS, I used to drive one of these. My dad had one. Man, look at this truck here. Very nice. Oh, I love the Audi here, huh? I always like these Audis. You see the turbos? What? Those are the turbos, look how little they are. Oh, that's that sucking pack. Yeah, it is. I know that MG right there. This is the guy we bought all the cars from, his Wait, grandson's car. Nice sleeper dude sticker. That is a nice sleeper dude sticker. I like that sticker. Uh, it looks good. Just got it. Man, look at that roof. Is that the Gary special roof right there? Yeah, I had to talk him into it. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I like the blue Mustang over here. Another 32 grill there. I know you like the Corvettes, huh? Right? You know this one, yeah. Seven liter, Ralphie. Gapple bees. Gapple bees. <laughs> that thing is sweet. Mimi's over here walking rocky ground with Mike. Does he eat barbecue sandwiches? Of course. He'll at least make a mess of it. Yeah, he just wants the bread. <laughs> There's a turbo coupe down here. I've got to go see it. Beauty, huh? Yeah. Ralphie loves the turbo coupes as much as I do, so. Very well. That thing was here last year. I remember that. I ain't never had one that clean. Man. How much do you sell it for? <laughs> Man, that thing is nice. Thank you. I love the turbo coupes. Five speed? Yeah. How many miles does it have? A little over 90,000. Man, it's clean. Did I you repaint it or somebody else? I painted it. Okay. Very nice. I've been trying to get down here to check it out. Man, I like the blue Challenger here. Very nice. I like those hoops too. This is my buddy Steven's Coyote Mustang here, Pro Charged. He's always had fast cars. We used to uh, race in, of course, legal ways back in the day. If it's his, it's fast. Man, I like the slammed F100. This is what Tosh needs to do to hers for sure. Probably Crown Vic suspension and slam it down. I like this body style. You know, when I was a kid, these cars were brand new. I remember looking at these at the dealership with my dad. Cobra motor, six speed. Can you sign my I can, yes. No problem. I'm glad you like it. Uh, ACT, you know. yeah. Thank you. Did you win People's Choice? Yes. Oh yes. my God. Two years in a row we got People's Choice. Can you believe it? Crazy. Here we go. I voted for you. Oh wow, that's great. First car show with your car, first trophy. How cool is that, huh? That's incredible. Uh, that's crazy. Best of show. Is number 53. Yeah, best of show. Thank you. Thank you. Second place goes to number 11. Oh, the 32 high boy. Very nice. Praise God. Here. Thank you. Third place, number 58. Look at these girls up here killing it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> Fourth place, number 27. Nice. <laughs> nice truck. Fifth place, the number 38. <laughs> number 62, honorable mention. Oh, Steven. Uh -oh. Thank you. Thank everybody that showed up, that brought your cars, everybody that came just to be here at the show to help our youth here at Faith Baptist Tabernacle. A special thanks to Sleeper Dude and his crew uh, for coming out. Thank you. Find a church somewhere and go in the morning. Can you believe that? Oh you won a trophy. Can you? That's crazy. Look, look, we got last year's People's Choice and this year's People's Choice. 
you drove your first car to your first car show and got your first trophy. There's a lot of firsts, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at her posing by her trophy here. Look, we got Rocky even. Good job. All the work paid off. We put a bunch of work in and we got it paid off. I think that buff job we gave it probably didn't put it over the edge. Exactly. Everybody's starting to head out now. We're gonna let the crowd die down here and talk to everybody who wants to talk and we're gonna start loading stuff up and heading home. Do you see the, the Volkswagen bus? Yeah, I've seen it. I love it. I, love I know you'd like the bus for sure. Very cool. There's a lot of nice cars here. There was. There's a lot more cars than last year, I think. A lot of people came from a long way to come to the show. Yeah. Maybe it'll just keep getting bigger. Raised a lot of money for the youth group. It's all for a good cause. And look at the little scamp camper. How cool is that? I love the little camper. I'm hoping to put hoops like that on my Falcon one day. What a cool car. Get her done. Mimi, that's what you need right there. That is what you need. You look good in that car. Oh, you know that's right. Did we give away all the baby lines today? Yeah, they except for Tato. They said for Tato. Okay. He's pulled at our heartstrings, hadn't he? It took me 20 something years to win a trophy. <laughs> and you get one on your first show. I put too much work into your car. That's the problem right there. We both put too much work into my car. I know. We'll have to paint yours. Maybe you'll get a trophy next time. Did you sell a bunch of your artwork today? Yeah. Yeah? A bunch of them? Yeah. You made awesome. A lot of I, saw, I sold all of them. I made two custom ones and I made two because I was running out so I had to make two other ones. Well, good job, Squeeze. People's Choice next year. That's going to be it right there? Yeah, People's Choice. Once it's painted, it's, yeah. it's, it's locked in, huh? Yeah. Mike, the neighbor here, is going to drive Wawa's car back. Me and Ralphie, I think, are going to drive the vet. Mom's gonna drive the truck and we're gonna go get the trailer and come back and get some more. Rocky, let's get in the truck. Come on. Your wives are missing you. You've been such a good boy. Yep. Is it us? Yep. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it shows boy. Hey, make sure you keep up with us now. Yes, sir. Yeah, good luck. Think she'll make it? Maybe. <laughs> Here we go. Jewel, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna smoke the tires. No, you ain't. No, you ain't neither. I'm gonna smoke them right now. You was a good boy today. You was good, yes. Woohoo! Hey, doggy! So Turn the air on. There's no air. You what? Are we racing him? Is that what he's doing? He's racing me. Oh, he beat us. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got brakes. That's a good thing. She don't go that fast. Sure, she does. Oh, yeah. Woo, doggy. You need to calm down. Man, he's leaving us in the dust. It did a lot better this time, didn't it? Yeah. Boy, I didn't even have to downshift. She just ride. Purrs like a kid. This ride's real good. Yeah. This first time I ever drove six ship. Yeah. I was watching YouTube. Some dude named Sleeper Noob taught me how to drive it. the phone charger. Daddy said you couldn't ride in this truck. We showed him, huh? He is flying. Woohoo! <laughs> this makes me want to go out and get a bug now. this thing, Ralphie. Yeah, we did. He 
He's a mad man, isn't he? Yeah. Excellent job today. Hey, this was awesome. First time I ever drove stick shift. Free to go. Did you fall in love with it? Oh, I'm gonna go buy me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't keep up with you. I know. We had some fans bring the goats some animal crackers, so we thought we'd bring them back here and give some to the goats. Oh, Vanya's in on this. Man, Rocky had a big day, didn't he? He was good, though. He was so good. He didn't even headbutt anybody. He didn't headbutt nobody. Dealt with the dogs and everything. Yeah. Let's go get some more. Hey, okay. I think Mike's in love with the beetle. I couldn't keep up with him in the vet. You're kidding. Hey, but the vet did perfect. No awesome. problem. Awesome. Great. I can't believe the strap didn't get run over and ripped the whole front end off the car. It was in the frunk and came out and was just flapping back there, but so far so good with that. Well, we got the whole family in here, all my kids in the back back there, and uh, we got the trailer hooked up, so we're going to try to get the Metro Mont and the MG on the trailer, and then we got to drive the Falcon and the F100 back, and we'll have them all home. I'm finally as tall as mom. Yay! <laughs> Your hair is impeccable, by the way. So is his hair. Yeah, Mike, he's been signing autographs all day. Hey. He's basically more famous than all of us. It's hard. Oh, <laughs> oh got cramps in the hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. gosh wow yeah we had a fun day a lot of people a lot of cars a lot yeah. of fun it was like double the size of last year's show yeah it was great so thanks for everybody that came out you're supposed to be hold, hold the brake not the gas golly that kid So I reckon mom's gonna drive the truck and trailer again. Pray for it. We'll put you in the Falcon. Man, that's a rig right there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, baby. I don't know if we'll be able to keep up with Mike again. Oh, oh, seat belt. The hot, hot, the metal seat belts? Yeah. It's a good-looking grip car right here. Yeah. Oh, I need my vent. That's what it is. Ooh. <laughs> that transmission, it'll take some getting used to for him. You did good, huh? Uh, did you see me swing out at the driveway? I saw you yeah. did good. I was High to five. Make, not take out the fence. You'll be driving a semi truck no time. Oh lord! Hey, how'd you like them brakes in the Falcon, huh? Oh man, I love that car. Hard as a rock, though, aren't they? To hit boy. the pedal. And the shifting was just awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> well, we're taking Mike back to get his vet in something that's substantially faster than his vet. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we couldn't have done it without Mike today. He was a big helper getting stuff back. Saved us several trips.
six cylinder, yeah, it makes almost 400 to the back wheels, so it's making over 400 at the crank. Well, thank you for the help. An awesome ride, man. That's that was impressive. <laughs> They run good? Yeah, we left you in the dust. <laughs> yeah, I was back there trying to rev her out and y'all are already gone. Yeah, I'm sure this thing's got a lot more gut down low. Hey, thank you for your help, sir. No problem, anytime, that's what we're here for. Hey, you got the Corvette looking good. We're just honored to be in your presence. <laughs> Who didn't know that, huh? He has no hoops and for it. Oh, good. He's going to need them. <laughs> wow, what a day. I am telling you, we had a time today. It was a lot of work, yeah. but it was a lot of fun. We met so many people. I think this has to be the record for the most people we've a met. A lot of nice people. Yes. We met so many good people. I'm trying to think. Let's think of the state. So we had Michigan, Pennsylvania, Louisiana, West Virginia, Iowa, Iowa Ohio, Kentucky. People Georgia, came from all Georgia. over to come see us and, and help out with this church's youth group. And we really appreciate it. It's really incredible. We're kind of trying to get used to all this, you know, because it's kind of new to us. Pour one out for your homies. Yes, yeah. pour one out for your homies. Eat your vineyards, drink your RC Colas. It's such a foreign feeling that you can post about, hey, we're having a show over here. And then all these people come. It's incredible. And we appreciate everybody that came out. This event, you know, it was just a car show. So we weren't racing. We weren't doing all the normal things we're doing in an event. Usually it's really hard for us to get to talk to everybody because of everything that's going on. But this time we were kind of free to talk to everybody. I got totally roasted. I mean, roasted and toasted. I think the church was able to raise over $3,000 for these. Wow. So, wow. wow. That's big. That's that is big a big deal. We had a lot of people help support us by buying shirts. That was really helpful. Hopefully pretty soon we'll have our own website up where you can buy them from our website. But right now, if you want to buy merch, you can click below. It'll take you to Spring's website and you can buy shirts from there and they'll ship them to your door. Oh, Ralphie's ready. Whoop. Ah, how about the sprinkles? Yes, that's on my hey, leg. Hey, you ought to be happy that happened, okay? That's an honor. Up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> Rocky had fun. He did so good. He, he was so nice to everybody. He got petted by everybody and got fed food all day. And this is last year's trophy. I didn't win anything. Right. That's okay. Right. I had a good time. Wawa and Ralphie's cars made it there and made it back. First car show they've ever took a car to. We didn't break down. That's we didn't break down. How is that even possible? Mom didn't wreck the truck or trailer. Hey. And good. Wawa won her first trophy at her first ever car at a car show. And so. it's blue trophy. my first car. And it's blue. And blue, blue trophy. Yeah. Wow. We'll never, never hear the end of this. Corvette, fixed forever. Okay. F100, fixed forever. No need to worry anymore. We're driving anywhere. Exactly. Shout out F. So go check out our second channel out. Sleeper Dude 2. Squeeze didn't participate. Oh, yeah. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. It's funny. Everybody is like, oh, I feel like I'm part of the family. So that's pretty cool. But thank you to everybody that watches our videos, everybody that subscribes. We met a lot of channel members today, didn't we? A lot of people yeah. there that are channel members. That really helps. Everybody does super thanks. Everybody likes and comments and subscribes. All that stuff really helps. But we had a great time. Should have took Granny, you know. Mistakes were made. She would have been the star of the show. She yeah. definitely would have. She would have gummed everybody to death. <laughs> Speaking of Granny, we better go see her and Vanya. They're going to be mad at us. Yes. Yeah, for real. Hey, Rocky, you've already ate. I don't want to hear it, okay? Long. All you've done is eat. Look at your belly. I'm going to take her to the vent. She oh. would be. I couldn't imagine loading her up. I'd have. Drag my stuff. You would have been so good there today. People would have rubbed your belly. Oh, Lord, they would have fed her all, all day. day. All the babies are out here. There's flour. 
<laughs> Let's find Granny. Granny! Oh, wait, she can't hear. You just got to give Granny the hand signals. That's the only way she knows what's going on. We saved one for you. Give her the juice. Everybody was looking for you, Granny. Oh, sign language. Everybody was looking for you, Granny. I don't know how to do sign language. There's Rowdy Rhonda, the old goat chaser, 9,000 here. How come she's buck wild? I'm good sometimes. I see that tongue going. She thinks you have something to drink. Oh, here we go. She's rowdy, isn't she? At night, she screams if Tosh doesn't come out here early enough to feed her a bottle. She cries at the fence. 